Earlier this week, the International Monetary Fund released its global economic outlook, warning of slowing growth ahead. But there was one bright spot. India, which is set to grow more than 6% this year, that's more than any other major economy. According to the IMF, an increase in Indian domestic investment is key. It also said that growth is set to continue in the years ahead. I'm joined now by DW's Delhi correspondent Charu Kartike. Charu, what's fueling India's economic success? Well, different experts have different opinions about it, but the IMF feels that the growth is primarily being fueled by domestic investment. Uh, there's a lot of uh, capital expenditure that is happening. In fact, uh, in uh, India's uh, India government's data shows that investments rose by uh, almost 9% during the January-March period, which is also the period which the IMF has looked at for its assessment. Uh, there's a lot of infrastructure spending that is happening and primarily in sectors like roads and railways. There are a lot of highways and expressways uh, being built. So uh, that seems to be the primary driver of growth at this point of time, Marie. Charu, India recently overtook China as the world's most populous country. A lot of people are speaking about a demographic dividend also driving economic success there. Um, is that uh, an accurate picture? Well, that demographic dividend has become more of a challenge now, Marie, given the fact that unemployment uh, is, is at really high levels in the country. Uh, it is estimated to be upwards of 7%. In fact, there are private estimates, that's private reports that say that uh, it could be over 8%. Youth unemployment is even higher. It's, it's in double digits. So this is a big challenge, uh, which, which remains to be not just a near term, but a, but a long term, medium term, as well as long term challenge for the country. How to secure jobs to millions of uh, uh, youth, uh, especially who are waiting for jobs. Uh, many factors are held responsible for that. Uh, but uh, that is, is something that is being highlighted as of now. It's, it's, a, it's a big challenge. And what other hurdles is the country facing economically other than youth unemployment? Well, uh, when we talk of uh, investment, which is the high point uh, behind the growth story, economists say that private investment is not keeping up with uh, public investment. And that's something that the government also needs to worry about, because all of this capital expenditure that is happening from the government's part, if the private sector does not keep up, then that means that manufacturing will not pick up. If manufacturing will not pick up, then uh, where are the jobs uh, going to come from? So that's uh, among the uh, major issues that a lot of people point out. Uh, apart from that, uh, there are other issues like uh, uh, several small businesses collapsed in the last few years uh, and small businesses, once again, they are the backbone of uh, the employment generation uh, in the country. So small businesses also uh, need to be brought back on track, Marie. All right. And India is already among the world's 10 biggest economies right now, but it's still trailing behind countries like the U.S. and China. With this positive economic trajectory, is it on track at the moment to become an economic superpower? Well, yes, at least that uh, is something on which a lot of economists have a consensus. Uh, in, in fact, a lot of global agencies also have the consensus. Uh, there are projections that by 2027, uh, India, uh, if, if, it, if it continues to grow at this rate, then it will become the third largest economy. And in fact, Goldman Sachs has even gone, gone on to say that by 2072, India uh, is poised to become the second largest uh, economy of the world, uh, pipping even uh, United States of America. So uh, the, the projections continue to be great, but then all of these agencies, all of these estimates keep pointing out that uh, the, the weaker points, they need a lot of work and India will need to improve upon, uh, improve in those areas, Marie. All right, those are some significant projects and projections there. Thank you very much, Charu.